on my iPad. So I've got the chat. There we go. So how are we all? I am very tired. So tonight's live is probably going to be as quick as I can do it, um, basically, um, because I've been up since 4.30 a.m., I had a wedding yesterday and I had a wedding this morning, so I was assisting my sister. Um, so we were doing hair and makeup um, from, it took us like two hours to get there, but um, it was from like 7 a.m. this morning to 1 p.m. we were doing hair and makeup. So I am very tired, so I apologize for any like lack of energy. I am on the verge of falling asleep. I had a sleep on the way home. Um, hello to everyone that's joining, um, but yeah, so I'm super, super tired. Um, we're decorating a very simple cake tonight, so that's nice and easy. Um, and then tomorrow night we're doing my birthday cake, which I'm very excited for, um, which will be two tiers. So we'll be doing a longer live for that. That will probably be like three hours long. Um, and that is going to be, I'll announce it on my Instagram again, the same as I did today but it's probably going to be around six o'clock because I don't want to be too late decorating it. Um, but obviously because I got home late and everything today, that's why we're a bit later, but tomorrow I don't have anything on. So we're just doing my birthday cake. That's it. So yes, I'm very, very excited for that. Um, so it's a six inch wedding anniversary cake. So it's a white buttercream cake. So I've got the buttercream ready today. Um, and then it's got pearls pressed into it. So I've got various different pearls to go on the sides. So it's a blue theme. The wedding color that they had for their actual wedding was like a very dark blue. It's kind of like a navy, but it's also got like a purpley tone. So we've gone for these. So these are from Sprinkly UK. I always buy from them. So we've got the mini pearls and then we've got the slightly larger ones. And then we've also got some white ones to mix in as well. So we've got the white minis and then the white larger ones. Um, and then I've also got some miscellaneous ones, which are like a middle size, which I wanted to put in. Um, we've also got some flowers to go on it. So I need to unbox them. We have a parcel from Amazon. So we're just gonna quickly open this up. So it's got roses on it. So they chose the color from a variety of blue roses and then I just bought them on Amazon. to open. There we go. Okay, good. So, they're the same as the last ones I ordered, the yellow ones I had, um, which look like so. Um, I have like a little spares box in my drawer. So, this is the colour we went for. Um, she didn't go for an ombre. There were like ombre versions where it goes into like a deeper blue, but she just went for the single colour. They are so pretty. I'm very excited for this. Um, we're obviously not going to use all of them. We'll probably only use maybe like, uh, there's probably maybe two or three on top and then maybe two on the board. So not very many, but obviously they buy the whole bunch um, because I may never use them if someone doesn't order this color. So that's what they look like, which they look really, really nice. Um, it's a really nice rich blue. And basically what I'm gonna do um, when the cake is setting later is I'm just gonna pick the best ones in terms of like how flat they are, if there's like flat edges. Um, and then we'll be cutting the stems. So the stems are just like plastic. So I just cut about an inch and then it allows you to stick that into the cake. So we'll be doing that in a little while, but we're gonna actually ice the cake first. So that's all good. Um, and that's it. Um, they didn't have any macaroons on it. Um, no, yeah, so. 
it is just a very simple cake. I'm gonna get the cake out of the fridge and we're gonna put the buttercream into a piping bag. So we've got our piping bag. I'll put this in there first so that I'm not getting the cake out. Um, hello ASMR, ES, hey Jake, hi Joshua, um, Emma Lou, Natalie, hi Amy, so glad to be seeing you live. I am glad that you guys are here. Um, tomorrow is one I'm very excited for because I haven't even, like, I know what I want for my birthday cake, but I'm just like cramming a load of ideas together. So, fingers crossed, it turns out good. So, you're gonna see me just improvising tomorrow so that'll be interesting um but i have very big ambitions it's two different flavors so um i might do the whole process i'm not really sure um i might do the beginning on tiktok so um again i'll let you know on instagram if i do but i might do the stacking on tiktok just because it's not as interesting but i can still chat to people um whereas like on youtube i want to do all the decorating but in order to do the stacking i would then have to stop because it would need to sit in the fridge so um i'll probably do a tiktok live for that so if you follow me on tiktok if you don't then it's sweet things by amy um and then i'll probably do a little like you know casual tiktok live where it's not that organized because i find that people on there aren't as organized and then on YouTube, we'll do all the interesting stuff. Um, um, hey, can't wait to see your birthday cake live tomorrow. Thank you, Jilly. I'm very excited. Um, yeah, we're having a family barbecue on Sunday. Hopefully it's hot um, because we're hoping to do it outside. So um, I, I'm hoping that the weather is nice. I need to add a little bit of white colouring to this. So it's currently a cream. So we're gonna add some white to that. Do you always bake the cake then ice it the same day or have you ever baked a cake then left it overnight then iced it? How do you store it if left overnight? Um, I do that all the time. Um, so what I do is if I am strapped for time or I just can't be bothered, I'll leave it in the tins and then I just cling film it and shove it in the fridge. Or if I'm feeling organized, then I'll take it out of the tins and then I will cling film it shove it in the fridge the same as long as it's cling filmed the air won't get to it so it's absolutely fine um and i actually quite like putting it in the fridge usually when i ice my cakes i leave it in the fridge for about an hour um after it's actually fully cooled at room temperature i never put it in there when it's warm because otherwise it'll condensate and then you get a soggy sponge so i always put it in there once it's fully cooled wrap it in cling film because i find that you don't get as many crumbs because it's cold the crumbs don't want to come off of the cake it's more kind of like hard i guess um but as soon as you start icing the sponge soon softens up so it's not a permanent thing um just refrigerating it to give it a little bit of stiffness so that it doesn't kind of like molt as much with crumbs i always find that that makes a huge difference so if i have time i always try and put it in the fridge um awesome thank you makes sense yeah um but i do try and crumb coat the night before just because i do like to give it plenty of time before i do the second coat it's mainly because the more time it spends in the fridge the longer it's going to last out of the fridge so um obviously if it's only been in there 10 minutes then it's going to be more wobbly so i like to have it in the fridge from the night before and then it means that if someone's collecting at say like three i wouldn't want to stack it that morning because i would be too worried that it wouldn't be sturdy enough um but yeah i i just it's kind of like my routine you know like once you're in a habit of doing that even if it doesn't make sense to other people it just makes sense to me so even though it might not make much of a difference i just like doing it um, and I always feel like I've got more planning in place doing it that way rather than doing a whole cake in one day. It means I can do multiple cakes because I've got them all to a further on stage, if that makes sense. 
So if you've got them all crumb coated, then you've got more time to then decorate them all. Whereas if you start them all from scratch on the same day, then it means that you've got a lot more work to do. So I always prefer to have as much prepped as possible. And cakes last perfectly fine in the fridge once they're crumb coated um, because that seals in the air. So it's like, why not do it in advance and save yourself time? Because it doesn't make a difference to the taste of the cake. So, right, I'm trying to get this as white as possible. I might have to whip it a little bit more. We're adding some, it's, it's called Wilton icing colouring, but it is Wilton white white. It's the whitening liquid that you just add to your icing to make it paler but it does make it a little bit more silky which is nice for when you're actually icing the cake so in the light it always looks more white whereas in the bowl it always looks a little bit yellow so i think that's pretty pretty good i'm gonna give it one last whip in the machine just to give it a little bit extra because hand mixing is always slower um there we Right, we're gonna go with that. Um, do you leave it uncovered if it's crumb coated? So yeah, I once cakes have a layer of buttercream on them, I never cover them. One, because obviously you're gonna damage your buttercream. Um, I used to do it, like believe it or not, when a cake was fully decorated, I used to wrap it in cling film. Don't know why, I was, everyone had told me like every baker that I'd spoken to had told me that you have to cover a cake if it's left in the fridge and then I've soon learned that you don't you can leave it uncovered and then when you eat it it's perfectly fine um because like everyone says the buttercream is a layer that stops any air getting to the cake and it doesn't dry out as everyone seems to think so yeah, you can definitely leave it uncovered. It saves so much hassle and it also doesn't damage your design because I kept on doing that. I was getting to the point where I kept on having little damages, like little dents and things in the design because I'm trying to wrap it in cling film or trying to put it in a box too soon. So it's always best to just leave them uncovered. I don't put them in a box until I know when someone's collecting it. So if someone's collecting it, say like 3 p.m., I'll leave it out of the box until maybe like an hour before, and then I'll put it in there, just because it doesn't need to go in there. Also, it restricts your fridge space because the way that I put my boxes on, where they have the base and then the lid is stapled to the back, that takes up a lot of room, so it means that you can't keep as much in the fridge as soon as you box them up. Um... Hi Amy, I finally made it to one of your live streams. Hi Verity. Um, hi Amy, have you ever frozen cake layers before? And if so, is there anything I need to know? I only bake as a hobby baker and I'm making three birthday cakes for a family in a week, so I think it would be easier. Um, I would say that it's probably achievable to do them without freezing. Um, I am actually freezing my first cake, which is currently in the freezer. And it will be coming out tomorrow, so we'll soon figure out whether it's worked. Um, so I'm trying that out. So I'll let you know on the live tomorrow how it went. Because if I end up having to bake the layers again, then you know that it didn't go very well. But I basically made a six inch amount of um, cake mix for a four inch cake. So I did it the other day, I doubled my mixture and I was like, I don't need this much. So I then put it into another tin and I was like, right, this is, we're gonna have to have chocolate cake for my birthday because we've got this mix now. Um, so that's one of the layers, one of the tiers flavors because I made too much. Um, but I've wrapped it in cling film, then I wrapped it in foil and then I wrapped it in cling film again. So hopefully that works, that's what I read on Google and supposedly it's meant to work really well. Cool beans. Um, so yeah, hopefully I take them out of the freezer and they work and they're all fine. Um, that's exactly what I do with my cakes, bake, then chill however once. Um, 
I had a customer that asked to change the flavour the day before collection when I said to them, sorry, your cake is almost done. Yeah, I... No one's ever tried to change anything that late, but I do say to people that I need to be aware of collection times two days before because I'm going to be baking your cake based on the time that you select. So if you say 9pm, then I'm not going to be decorating it until the day off, which I usually like crumb coat on the day before and then decorate the day of unless they're collecting in the morning which this person is then it gets decorated the night before um or if i'm out then i decorate the night before um but yeah people know not to change anything because if they do i just say sorry no like it's staying the same um but yeah luckily i've never had that i think i've had someone want to add something to the design and it wasn't something that costed any more money it was like a type of chocolate or something or they wanted to change a color of some buttercream that was going on the top so i just managed to do that but if i had obviously got further along in the design then i would have said no but um i'm just going to get the cake out So I just put some cupcakes in the oven. Um, I've got some wedding cupcakes going out tomorrow, um, which I will be doing once I finish this cake. I'll be decorating them um, and baking the vegan ones. So there's vegan and gluten free. So gluten free ones have just gone in and hopefully they all go to plan because although I have vegan and gluten free recipes, whenever I do them, I just have the worst luck. Um, when it comes to making vegan and gluten free um, even though it's like a tried and tested recipe they always seem to have something go wrong so we're hoping that they don't go wrong today right um, I'm going to pan you down um, what have you said Jilly um, sorry there we go um they had a fit and demanded to know why I had already baked it when it was for tomorrow. I would say because it takes time, because it needs to set. If I bake it, what would they do if you baked it like two hours before they were coming to collect it? It would have been stacked with about 15 minutes in the fridge. Like, I would have been like, you're insane, go and order from someone else. <laughs> Some people just don't understand how long things take to do. It's crazy. Right, we are just doing the final coat first and then we literally just have to stick all these pearls in and then the flowers and then we're done. Um, we have a few bits of piping which won't be too crazy. Um, so yes, a very, very simple design. Should be done by about 9.30 latest. Freezing cake layers is better than chilling because the cake retains moisture and once defrosted, it's like the cake has been freshly baked that day. That makes a lot of sense. Um, for me, it's not that I 
want to bake it in advance like I never bake more in advance than I need to but like say I baked a cake this evening I would need to crumb coat it tonight so if I if I kept it frozen then obviously I couldn't crumb coat it and I know some people coat cakes when they're frozen but I just don't like to so for me it's I've never felt the need to freeze apart from the other day when I baked too much um, but usually I just bake the day before um, like either the day before it's needed or two days before if it's something that's really big like a really big design that's going to take a lot of time um, but yeah most of the time I haven't felt the need to freeze Move that. Um, how do you store cupcakes overnight? Sorry, I haven't done cupcakes yet, but I'd like to. Um, I never put them in the fridge um, unless there's milk in the icing, which is very rare, just because I find that they go a bit hard in the fridge and so does the icing. So when I'm doing cupcakes, I always leave them at room temperature. Um, so like the ones that I'm baking tonight, I'm going to box them up and then leave them at room temperature. The only time that I would put them in the fridge is if it's like a boiling hot day, but most of the time you don't need to. finding out where I was. Uh, thanks, it's just, just that I've never done it before and I don't want to mess it up. Um, I suppose you can basically freeze almost anything and eat at a later date without it spoiling, so cakes would be similar. Yeah, um, it's basically as long as they're wrapped correctly because anything that you put in the freezer, if it's not wrapped co correctly, even if it is frozen goods, if the box isn't sealed, then they get freezer burn. So that's why you have to wrap it in cling film, then in foil, and then I did it in an extra layer of cling film just for safety, because then it means that no air is getting in there. Whereas if any air gets in there and it's in the freezer, then it's gonna get freezer burn. And then basically, if say for example, you had chips in there and they got freezer burn, they taste like cardboard. So your cake would probably taste like cardboard as well. So, um, yeah, that's why you want to make sure that they don't get freezer burn. So that's why I wrap them um, a lot. So, yes. Um, sorry if it's too personal, but do you have a boyfriend, girlfriend? I find it so hard to balance time with my boyfriend when baking. This is the only reason that I do as much as I do. And that's because I do not. Um, I sacrifice my whole social life um, to do all of the stuff that I do unfortunately um, it's kind of like the sacrifice that you have to make um, a lot of the time when you're self-employed or running your own business it's kind of like the detrimental part is your social life um, even like things like family gatherings and stuff there could be days where I'm baking so I'm like well I can't come because I've got to deliver a cake like there are definitely sacrifices but i think it is worth it um and also if it's like say it is your partner what you got to think is like is if you're planning to stay with them which obviously you probably are um if you're planning to stay with them for indefinitely then you're probably going to have plenty of time in the future to enjoy yourselves but you just have to sacrifice that time now whilst your business is growing and then when you get bigger you'll be able to employ people to do various different things which will then save you time um but you just got to look at it in a sense of i've just got to put in the work now and then in a few years 
I might have a bit more free time and then you can enjoy it then. That's the way that I think about it anyway. Um, what is the next one? How long do you tell your customers the cake will last? Best before use by? Um, I always say to them to eat within two to three days, but that's because I've tried and tested cakes and I know that it lasts way more than that. I've had my cakes a week later and they still taste lovely. Um, I would never tell someone to wait a week later, but I have had the old customer say um, where they've ordered it for someone's birthday and then they're having a party on a different date. So a bit like me, um, my birthday is on next Wednesday, but I'm having a party this weekend. And what some people do is they give them the cake on their birthday and then when they're having a party in a week's time, they just get the cake out the fridge. And they've always said that they taste amazing. So they do last. Um, I would never recommend them, like I say, but they have done it kind of like without asking me before. Um, and then I was like, oh, perfect. Like, I'm glad it lasted and didn't spoil. Um, so, yeah, I guess I always recommend two to three days. But whether they listen to that is at their own risk. Um... Uh, I wanted to say a huge thank you for all your amazing videos and info. Um, this week I've taken the plunge and bought insurance registered with my local council, done level two food safety. I'm going to give it a go. I can only imagine how long it would have taken me to work myself up to it if I hadn't seen your videos. Oh, that's really sweet. Um, yeah, like what you got to think is like what, what are you going to lose? Like it's free to register. So the way I think of it is it's like, well registering isn't the hard bit like your actual business like running it is the hard bit um because it's free so it's like it doesn't cost you anything to register so you might as well um so yeah well that's exciting you'll have to let me know when you have your inspection because again that is all very exciting Oh, Natalie, that's very nice of you. I love when people hype each other up. So I love that we have such a positive chat in here because I do see some lives where they're all very negative, but we're all, we're always very positive in here. So that's good. Just trying to get these sides very, very smooth because um, it's a very kind of like naked cake in terms of like the sides being very visible so you can't hide anything so we're making sure that this top is very very smooth and there's like no imperfections Yes, if people put their Instagrams below, then other people can follow and also I can look back and know who everyone is and then I can also go and follow people because um, I can look back at the chat. So, um, what are we doing? So... Don't know whether to cut it or sometimes cutting it gives a more sharp edge, but I might just flatten. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna go with flattened edges. Um, there you go. Sorry, this is very high concentration, this part. <laughs> So, 
the base coat is all done the hard bit um so we're going to start putting all the pearls in we can't put it in the fridge because we need to stick the pearls in um so we're going to have to be very very careful um because if you knock it then obviously it's gonna have a dent in it i might give it like a few minutes but not very long because um i obviously don't want it to harden too much because i need to stick all these pearls in it um it's literally gonna be covered in pearls from like head to toe um that's the design we're going for let me put it in there quickly for a couple of minutes and then um we'll start doing the pearls Just washing my hands. Right, let's answer a few questions whilst it's in the fridge. Um, how tall are you, if you don't mind me asking? You seem very tall to me, but it could be the camera angle. Um, I'm only 5'6", so kind of like average, I would say, height. But it's definitely the angle because um, I have to tilt it down because otherwise you can't see where I'm decorating. Um, I need to kind of like figure out an angle, but yeah. I always have to tilt it down and the camera's like higher because otherwise you can't see the actual cake. Um, I agree, your lives are always so positive and you're always so helpful. Thank you. Yeah, I try to, I mean, that's why I don't really go live on TikTok that much. One, because I prefer YouTube, but also because I find that whenever I'm on lives, like just watching other people's, they're always so like negative, whereas YouTube doesn't seem to be like that. Um, like you just get like trolls and stuff on there whereas you don't seem to get that on YouTube so that's why I prefer going live on here and it's also where like my most subscribers are so it just makes sense to do it for the most popular because then more people are going to be able to see it um, everyone's put in their Instagrams yeah, so I will go and follow those um, after the live. I can't do it now because I can't, like, stop filming. Um, but, yeah, I will do that after the live. Um, right, what do I need to do? We've got, we've got enough buttercream because we're just doing a few little splodges on the cake. It's not crazy amounts. Um because it's mostly covered in pearls and the flowers so we're just doing a few little blotches cupcakes are rising well so that's exciting um these are gluten-free ones the vegan ones i never have any issues with but the gluten-free i always worry that they sometimes they rise sometimes they don't it's as if they're just like having a bad day um even though you use the same recipe so um they're gonna come out in a minute so yes right i think I'm going to take the cake out because I don't want it to firm up too much. So, get my pearls ready. And I washed my hands, so we're good on that front. And if you weren't here earlier... All the sprinkles are from Sprinkler UK. And these are the blue and navy. And then we have white and white minis. I think I've got buttercream on me. I keep feeling it on me. Right. There we go. All right, let's get the cake. I'm just gonna gently scrape the board. Can't go too close to the cake because it'll be too soft but we can clean it a little more later 
I just wanted to get the majority of excess buttercream off. I need my little pen. And then we're literally just going to start packing on the sprinkles. I'm going to start small, so we're going to start with the smallest ones. And I'm going to tape them on my finger. And we're just going to work all the way around the sides. Oh, I told ya. Told ya. I knew I'd do it. I am. Um, if you add the tiniest bit of pressure too much then because the cake is soft it um just dips so we'll be able to cover that luckily but need to be very careful That's our cupcakes going off. Um, I'm dropping these sprinkles everywhere. Maybe you should start a private Facebook chat for us all to swap tips, keep in touch, be each other's cheerleaders. Um, it could be called Sweet Things Disciples. Oh my God. Um, I will definitely do that and then what I'll do is I'll put the link in the description um, I'll announce it on my Instagram once I've done it um, because I actually do have one for people that buy my guides but I think it's probably easier just to have them all in one um, right I need to take that out of the oven all those sprinkles are falling off Right, they look pretty good, those cupcakes. So that's um, very exciting. What we're gonna do is I've made one extra, so we'll test them to make sure. I always double check when it's gluten-free because I don't make it often enough for them to be perfect every time and I always have the worst luck. So I just wanna make sure that they've risen perfectly. What flavour are the cupcakes? Um, the gluten-free ones are white chocolate and raspberry and the um, vegan ones are vanilla, like Victoria Sponge, so they're going to have a little bit of jam filling and then the others will have raspberry jam filling. Oh, 
Oh no. I just scraped the cake. That's really annoying. I need to be really careful because I keep I keep um, pressing slightly too hard. This is so delicate. sweet things disciples could be a great new line of merchandise for you i'd totally buy an apron with that on i love that idea new merch is coming out um next week it comes out on my birthday so you'll have to wait and see what's out but there's gonna be quite a few different items there's a lot of new items coming out so i'm very excited for that um and then we're bringing back some of the old items, but with different designs. So, yes, all very exciting. And there will be a discount, so feel free to wait until next Wednesday because that's when I'm going to be, because it's my birthday, I'll be running a discount from my birthday for a week. So make sure that if you want to get anything, you can wait and then you'll get discount. How do I get more cake preset? What do you mean? Um, I'm not sure if I've read that wrong, but what do you mean preset? Um, do you use jam or fruit reduction for your fillings? Um, I always use jam. I think it's just easier because it's already made. I don't have to, I don't even know how fruit reduction works, but, um, I'd probably do it wrong. Um, how do I get more cake orders? Um, I think a lot of it comes from showcasing your skill. Um, I only like recently this year started getting a lot more cake orders. I used to get a lot of brownies, but that's because I was always posting brownies on my page. Um, and then when I started doing more cakes, I started posting more cakes and then I started getting a lot more cake orders. So I think it's based on what you showcase. Um, so yeah, I would... Do lots of like practice runs. I would say get a cake dummy. Um, if you get a cake dummy, then you can do lots of practices, um, like test out new designs, all of that kind of stuff. And then it means that you can kind of showcase your skill to people without them actually having to buy anything. Um, because I think people wanna get an idea for what you can do. Oh, thank you. That's really sweet, Chelsea girl. Thank you. You do not have to do that. That is so kind. Right. So, now we're going in with the blue. You can only just see it um, because the white doesn't show up.
I'm gonna have so much cleaning to do because all I can hear is sprinkles just falling on the floor. Um, I'm gonna have to literally sweep this floor after this. Right, we're gonna start with less. So I'm gonna go for that for the little ones and then we're gonna individually add the bigger pearls. We're gonna start with the white and then we will go in with the blue afterwards. Right, we're going to add a few bigger blue pearls now. Um, you can't see that great, but I will give you a close-up very soon um, so that you can... Um, do you use a cake box? Uh, do you use cake box extenders for that cake size? No. So I um, I do the method where you staple the lid to the back of the box. So I have the box how it normally is, and then I staple the lid to the back so it ends up like that. And then where the top of the box is, I then cling film down. Um, and yeah, I've just done that because it's the easiest because I used to always run out of cake extenders um, and then obviously it's a pain. So I was like, right, I need a method where it only uses cake boxes so that if I run out, then I'm fine. Um, and yeah, I just found that doing it like that was the best way. And also you can adjust the height because you just staple the lid to the back of the box as high as you need it.
We're going to add a few very big white ones, which are these. And then we're going to go back to the smaller white ones. And then we're just going to work up until we're at the point where I'm kind of like satisfied with how it looks. Um, so yeah, the image that she sent was very full of sprinkles. Like it was covered. So I'm just trying to match that the best. So we're just packing on... But I find it's best to like work your way up. So start with a small, then go up to the next size and then just start redoing it again. Like just once you get to the biggest size, then go back in with the smallest and then eventually you'll have it finished and you'll be like, right, I'm happy with how this looks all together. to start offering a uh, hey mum <laughs> someone said hey mum <laughs> now the dogs are barking um because she just went outside um she said hi back if you didn't hear her um i'd like to sort of start offering personalized two layer four inch cakes but can't find a four inch cake recipe anywhere any ideas so i would just i don't find like particular recipes per size I just do my normal recipe and then I just like divide it so like I would say for a four inch I double it to make a six inch so if you're using a six six inch recipe then half it um and then for an eight inch recipe I times my six inch recipe by um one and a half so because you need that slight extra to make the tins so um yeah i would just use your normal recipe but then just times it by whatever you need in order to make up the size i just did it by trial and error i was like right this makes four tins i need five tins or it makes two tins i need three and then i would just up the mixture
I'm gonna check um, just the reference image just to see um, in terms of like how many sprinkles and things were on there, just so that I can get an idea. So. It doesn't look like I've got it on here. Oh, here we go. Bear with, I'm just double checking. So it's got a lot of big pearls on the image so I'm going to add some more bigger pearls um, so that we've got a lot more of those. It's got less small pearls and more bigger ones so we're just going to add a load more of the bigger ones. Um, so. Um, how much would you charge for this cake, if you don't mind me asking? Um, this is £50 just for this. And then it's twelve ninety nine for the flowers. But obviously, I don't get anything from that. I get the spares, but um, it's not necessarily like a profit because it's spent money. So, yeah, I just charge that as like an extra. But, yeah, so £50 for the cake. It will have a little bit of piping on it, but not very much. Yeah, so the comments will be available um, later if you come back and watch the stream once it's like uploaded because it has to process once it's finished. Um, then you can look through the comments. You just have to skip to the end because the comments are done live. So it basically means if you're watching in the first minute, it will only show the comments that were shown in the first minute. So you just have to skip right to the end and then it will show you the comments that were said throughout the whole thing. Um, so. Okay, so standard fee for the cake and then extras as per the customer's request. Um, sorry, it's been removed. But yeah, basically the cake is charged as it is and then any extras are on top. Um, the only time that they're included is for drip cakes. Oh, 
we lost another one. Um, so for drip cakes, I do the same where it's like a, a base price, but more's included. So like if there was, if this was a six inch drip cake, it would be 60 pounds, which includes basic chocolate. So that doesn't include things like macaroons, which are more expensive. That includes store-bought chocolates that are, um, you know, like a lot more affordable. Um, so that's the base price that includes the drip covered board. And then what I add on is cake toppers, um, things like macaroons, um, anything like that basically anything that is more expensive gets added on Um, that sounds like a bargain to me. <laughs> Thank you. They will be being upped again, I think, my prices after December. Um, I upped them a little bit in April, but I think I'm probably going to up them again in December. Um, because like, as the months go on, um, I feel like they're getting better and better. So once I've upped them that time, I think that will be the last time for a little while. Oh no, we don't want to lose another one. Keep losing these big sprinkles. And then I'm going to go in with some more blue because the blue is meant to be like the focus of the cake. So I'm just going to put some more blue in any gaps.
This is actually surprisingly relaxing doing this. It's kind of like therapeutic. Yeah, I would say for names, have a little look on Instagram and Facebook and see whether it's taken. And then you can get an idea of like what's available. Um, Right. I think we're going to go for that. Let me have another look Ooh, at the reference. I think I need some more of the white pearls.
Right, we're gonna go with that because I actually prefer what I've done opposed to the image that we originally sent through. So I'll quickly show you what. This has a lot of like very big sprinkles. So I've done more of a mix. So I've added a few little ones as well, which I think makes it blend a bit better. So as you can see, they're all stuck to the sides. So that's what it looks like. Um, so we're gonna put some flowers on it and it's also gonna have some piping on the board and a slight bit on the top. So I'm gonna shove this in the fridge because I'm so worried about damaging the buttercream because obviously if I damage it, I can't smooth it out because it's got pearls all over it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna shove it in the fridge quickly. There's just sprinkles all over the floor. I'm wearing socks and all I can feel on the floor is sprinkles. They're just everywhere. Right, let's, we're gonna mix this buttercream because I need a blue. So we're gonna do that. Um, let me just check the comments. Um, so. I'd love to meet up one day, but we'll need time to travel as I'm in Australia. Oh my God. Um, well, to be fair, I want to go to Australia. So maybe when they open up to the UK, <laughs> I'll go there and then we can have a little meet up. Um, because yeah, it's definitely on my list of places that I want to go. Hopefully, like I want to go December time, but it's whether it actually opens up. Um... I'm going to try and switch to my laptop. I've got a four layer, eight inch cake to decorate tonight and I'm still laying on my bed watching this and feeding my five month old. It's going to be one long night. Well, it sounds like you're doing a lot. I mean, I can't imagine feeding a baby whilst trying to decorate this cake. I feel like that would be the cherry on top of my day. I don't know if you can see, but my eyes are so red because if you missed the beginning, I have been up since half four because I had a wedding yesterday um, where I did hair and makeup with my sister because I assist her. Um, and I was up at 5.30 yesterday, I think it was, 5.30 or six. Um, and then today I was up at 4.30 and both days I went to bed at 1 p.m. 1 p.m., 1 a.m. So both days I got like five hours sleep. Yesterday I only got three hours and I'm still up at 10 p.m. So I'm, once I've done this cake, I will be going straight to bed. She's coming to collect it at 9.30 tomorrow. So I'm literally going to stay in bed until 9 a.m. And then I'm gonna jump out throw the cake at her and get back in bed, I think. Um, and then I'm gonna finish my cake um, this up, like tomorrow afternoon for my birthday. Um, it looks fab, Amy. Thank you. Um, my sister lives in Perth. Um, my boyfriend is from Perth, but not Australia, Perth, Scotland, Perth. Ah, oh, it's so interesting how places are named the same, aren't they? Um, I bet you still prefer doing this um, than working for the council. Definitely, um, yeah, I feel like the council is one of those places where the pay is good, which is that kind of like what reels you in. But um, I mean, some of the jobs are good, but all the ones that I did, apart from like my apprenticeship that I did, um, all the ones that I did kind of like later on, they were just like stressful and there was a lot of work and um once you get to the top of your pay range then there's like no going up and I was at the top of mine so it's like I couldn't get much of a pay rise you'd get maybe like one percent a year which just isn't special um but you couldn't really go up so I was just like well what's the point in staying here and it's quite funny because I get a lot of people from the council buying cakes from me now so I had two today which were for the council um and then I've got someone that works at the council who's, she's had, um, she had that cake that I did the other day, 
the ombre, um, not the ombre, the tie dye pink with all the dried flowers on it. She had that one and she's had about five cakes from me. Um, she's actually also bought a cake for a council like function um, with like a youth group that she works with. So yeah, it's quite interesting that a lot of um, people from the council actually order from me now, even though I've left. But yes, um, right. We're gonna mix this buttercream and then I should be done in the next 15 minutes. And then I need to finish these cupcakes and then I can go to bed. I'm gonna do all the washing up tomorrow because I don't feel like doing it today. So. We are going to, has that got any sprinkles in it? One or two. I'm gonna use that bowl. So we're gonna leave that white. And then we're gonna color this. Don't know how much of this um, we're going to use, um, you must be hanging, poor you, definitely, I feel like I'm hungover, even though obviously I'm not, um, but I just feel hungover because I've had that little sleep, it feels like I've been on a night out, even though I haven't, I've just been baking cakes all evening, so, fun stuff, um, what do I need, spatula, Bachelor. A little bit more. It will darken in the fridge as well, so I'm not too worried. Girl, how are you wearing jeans, not joggers or so uncomfortable? Because I had a cake collection and as much as I do wear joggers 90% of the time, um, as you've probably seen from my other lives, I had a cake collection so I didn't want to answer the door in joggers. Um, I always do my makeup for cake collections. I'm like, I at least put something on so I look a little bit presentable. Um, but yeah, I actually am eyeing up my joggers that are over there in the washing basket because these jeans are not comfortable. Um, Right, what do we need? Piping bag. Right. Well, oh. scissors. If you've been watching the lives for a while you'll know that I lost this nozzle literally for weeks I've been looking for this nozzle and it was literally in underneath a piece of paper in one of my drawers like it's so annoying because I've been looking for it for ages it's the Wilton 8B and it looks like that um, but it's my favorite nozzle and I couldn't find it for weeks so I even bought a new nozzle which was very similar but not the same in case I found it um, but yeah it's it's a pain because I had to buy a new one. Um, as soon as I start baking bra off joggers on, <laughs> get in the comfy zone. It's when someone turns up early for a collection, I'm like, no, I need to change. I hate it. Right. So. 
So, I think I'm going to go white for the big nozzle because I want the white to be in the bigger nozzle so that the blue is more subtle. I don't want the blue to kind of like take over because we've got blue ra roses so it's going to be like very blue anyway. I just ordered that nozzle today. It's so good. I love it. I like baking in my PJs, clean, clean ones, obviously. Um, honestly, I think sometimes my parents come into the kitchen and I'm in PJs or like joggers and a t-shirt, obviously, like you say, clean. But sometimes they look at me as if to say, why are you dressed like that? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm comfy. It's the main thing. That's why working from home is so good because you get to wear whatever you want. Right, there's our white. Now I need, I keep, I've got sprinkles all over my feet. They're all over the floor. Um, I'm just washing a nozzle. Sorry, I was washing a nozzle. Um, this one doesn't have a specific number, so it's not very helpful, but it's a set on Amazon that I got, and it's like a mini version of the 8B, but it's smaller, as you can see. It's a lot smaller. Um, but it's the 32, but it's a, just an Amazon set that I got really cheap. But I like it for like smaller details. pick the best So I'm going to do five. I don't think I'll need any more than five, but you never know. There we go. They're very easy to cut as well. They don't have any wire in them. As you can see, there's no wire. So you literally just cut through the plastic. So it's really nice and easy. But like I say, these are $12.99 on Amazon and they do them in about a thousand colors. I've got them in pink, yellow. I've had them in white before. Um, so yeah, they're really not easy to do with one hand, but yeah, there you go. Um, and 
and then it's got a cake topper on it as well so i need to make that but that will be done off camera because that's fairly simple um so we're gonna get the cake out I need a very sharp knife, so I'm going to go and grab that. And what we're going to do is just go round the board to get all these little... There we go, so that's the front. And we're gonna have the roses three along here. So I'm gonna put two big bits of piping. And then the topper is going to go here. So that's why we're doing it off center because it's actually a design that I've done before. So we're going to do off center, the topper will go there and then we're going to put I think we're going to do just one at the base. Right, so I think we're going to go with that. So we are all done. 
Um, do you ever use real flowers on your cakes? Yes, so if you watch one of my other lives that I did recently, it was the pink drip cake and it should have in the title that I use real flowers. Um, then you can see how I wrap them. Um, but yeah, I use real roses in that one. Usually it's very, very rare. Um, a lot of the time people don't want real ones because they know that it's going to be a pain. Um, whereas this, they can leave it on the cake and they don't have to worry about it wilting. Whereas that one, I said to them that if you keep it on there any longer than a day, then they're going to start to wilt. So I would take them off. So then they were the one of the ones that kept it for a while. They kept it for like three days afterwards, um, before actually cutting it. So I said, take the flowers off just to be sure, um, because they won't last. So yeah. Um, so we're going to be, we're going to put this back in the fridge and then I'm going to go and make the topper, but it's all finished. So the topper is going to go here. So that's why we have a little gap. Um, and then we've got one flower at the bottom and then there's a little bit of piping there. Um, I might add a little bit more piping, um, just here, but I want to make sure where the topper's going first before I do that. But yeah, so it's all, I never know how to show them when you're holding it, but yeah, it's got sprinkles all the way around, but this is the front basically. So yeah, um, there'll be photos on my Instagram, um, probably tomorrow or Sunday. So you'll get to see like the finished look with the topper and everything. And if I changed anything, then you'll get to see it. Um, but yeah, so this is the cake. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm going to shove this in the fridge and then I'll be back. Right, um, that looks so pretty, so pretty. Thank you guys. Um, so as usual, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to love you and leave you because I need to finish some cupcakes before I go to bed. Um, and yeah, that is the end of the live. I will see you tomorrow for another live that will be announced on my Instagram. So if you don't already follow it, then go and follow it. It is Sweet Things by Amy and I'll be announcing on my story what time I'm going live. It's the birthday live, so it will be a two-tier cake and I'm very, very excited excited um it's got dried flowers it's got macaroons it's got chocolate it's got it's two different styles the base and the second tier are two completely different styles they're within the same color scheme but i'm going for two completely different styles so it's very exciting and it'll be a fun live basically um so yeah i might even have a few bevies don't know because it's my cake so I can um but I might have a few like early birthday beverages whilst we decorate um but yeah I will see you in tomorrow's live bye